In the developed world today, we enjoy abundant access to clean drinking water. But water contamination can still cause a crisis-like situation. The city of Flint, Michigan is the second most poverty-stricken city in America and is still suffering heavily from the recent economic depression. Flint is also struggling with a major public health crisis caused by lead contamination of its water supply system. As a result, poverty-stricken citizens of Flint have been forced to cut down on their daily water consumption or buy expensive bottled drinking water. President Obama has declared a federal state of emergency as the Flint water crisis is expected to last for the next several months at a minimum. Humanity First USA is responding to Flint water crisis with Water for Life program. Humanity First USA's disaster response team visited Flint for assessment purposes and is now coordinating relief efforts with the city officials and the National Guard, who have been deployed by the Governor of Michigan to coordinate relief efforts. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Mahir Osman with MTA News. You are watching a special report out of Detroit, Michigan. Members of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community here are teaming up with Humanity First to assist the Flint water crisis. Here at the Masjid Mahmoud Mosque in Rochester Hills, donations of water were dropped off and collected, and these donations will now be sent over to the city of Flint to help with the citizens and their struggle. A little bit of background on the story, not a few months ago it was released that lead poisoning was found within the water of Flint, Michigan and it's very unfortunate the uh, strife that they are going through right now so members of the Amity Muslim community as well as Humanity First has decided to step up and donate as much water as possible. On January 23, 2016, a team of 25 Humanity First USA's volunteers distributed two truckloads of drinking water equaling more than 7,000 gallons or 52,400 bottles of water to the city of Flint, the Food Bank of Eastern Michigan, three senior citizen homes, 300 residences, and to the general public in need. In just one week, members of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Community and Humanity First USA were able to obtain all of this water from Costco. With me now is Nasser Bukhari, one of the Humanity First volunteers. Nasser Bukhari, can you give us an idea of how all of this was uh, procured and exactly what went into uh, organizing this type of effort for the people of Flint? The first step obviously was that we heard from Humanity First that uh, we need to respond immediately to the Flint water crisis and um, we got in touch with uh, the larger outlets that provide water, one of them was Costco and uh, so we were able to get a good deal on the drinking water from Costco and Costco actually helped us deliver this water. This is a full 20 pallets which is a full truckload and uh, what we're planning to do is uh, have multiple truckloads delivered which is still not going to be enough for the kind of crisis that they're going through. Humanity First USA's volunteers included members of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Community USA and five employees of IBM in Lansing, Michigan, who joined our team after hearing about this great initiative. Why is this so important to you? This is important because uh, if I didn't have water, I'd want somebody to do this, somebody to do this for me as well. Shaila Ahmed, MTA News, USA.